Hello my beloved scholars. Today we're going to take a look at expanded notation or writing numbers in expanded form. What that simply means is we're just breaking the numbers apart to show their, their value according to different places, the place value system. So we're, we're splitting it up into how many units, how many tens, how many ones, how many thousands, how many 10,000 and so on. At this level, I think, yeah, we're going to cut it at 1,000. But just bear in mind, it can go, you can have 10,000s, 100,000s, millions. You can do the same thing. So we're just splitting them apart, right? So you can either just write it as, um, so let's do an example, right? So this is 6,831, okay? So that's 6,000 plus 800 plus 30 plus 1. Or we can write it as 6 times 1,000 plus 8 times 100 plus 3 times 10 plus 1 times 1. Okay? There are also other ways to write it. When you get higher up, you can also write it as powers, indices, right? Don't worry yourself about that. For now, just focus on these two ways of writing expanded form. So let's just do these numbers. So this is 4,296. So that's 4,000 plus 200 plus 90 plus 6. And we can write 4,000 as 4 times 1,000 plus the 200 is 2 times 100. The 90 is 9 times 10, and the 6 is 6 times 1. Do you get the hang of it? It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We're just splitting it up into the units, tens, hundreds, thousands. That's all. That's all there is to expanded notation. So that's 3,000 plus 100 plus 40 plus 8, right? 3 times 1,000 plus, this is 100 is 1 times 100, 40 is 4 times 10, and of course 8 is 8 times 1. See that? 8,006. So that's 8,000 plus how many hundreds? No hundred. So we can either just put zero hundred and zero tens. We actually don't have to write these. We just, but sometimes your teacher wants you to still show the place, right? If you, if she or he wants you to show the place, it's zero hundreds, zero tens. So eight thousand is eight times a thousand. Again, we don't have to write these, but still, we can say zero times a hundred, zero times ten, just for the sake of showing the expansion and 6 times 1. See that? 900 plus 20 plus 1. So 900 is 9 times 100. 20 is 2 times 10. And 1 is 1 times 1. Now suppose
suppose we were to add these back, would we get this? You want us to try it and see? Suppose we were to add the 4,000 plus the 200 plus the 90 plus the 6. So the 4,000 plus the 200 plus the 90 plus the 6. 6 plus 0, 6. 9 plus 0, 9. 2 plus 0, 2. And bring down the 4. So we actually got back our original number, 4,296. Maybe that was just a buck up. Let's try two more. Let's try this one and this one. So let's add the 6,000 plus the 800 plus the 30 plus the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. 3 plus 0 is 3. 8 plus 0 is 8. I will bring down the 6. 6,831. So let's do one more. You know, we mathematicians love to check and we love to do many of them just to make sure that it wasn't just a coincidence, just a buck up, as we say. So let's try this one and see if we get the same pattern. Let's add the 900 and the 20 and the 1. 1 plus 0 is 1, 2 plus 0 is 2, and the 9. So we did get back, we did get back 921. So when we split up the number into its component parts of 1s, 10s, hundreds and thousands, we can converge it, we can put it back by adding the component parts like we did here, add them back together again, and we should get our original number. So to recap, writing numbers in expanded form, we're simply just showing how many hundreds, how many tens, how many ones, how many thousands, how many ten thousands, how many millions, <laughs> right? And there are different ways of writing it. We can write it like this. We can write it as a product of the actual place, right? Actual place value. So the sum of the products. So there's an addition sign in between and the multiplication in the bracket. So it's the face value of the digit times the, the uh, place, okay, the place value. And we add them together afterwards, okay? If you have benefited from this video, as always, I'm encouraging you to share and share and share and share so that other students can benefit just like you did. If you learned something, I want you to drop a comment and say, Miss, thank you so much. Thank you, Miss. I would appreciate that comment. I would appreciate if you would subscribe if you have not already done so. Just click subscribe. You can also click the bell so that you will know whenever new videos are uploaded. You'll, you'll be right on the ball, right on the cutting edge. Keep sharp, keep focused, my beautiful scholars. I'll see you in the next video.